Not friends, welcome back to another episode of Generation Tech. My name is Alan, and thanks for joining us. So last episode, we talked about the most powerful and ancient species in the entire Star Wars galaxy. And during that episode, I talked about an individual that I believe is the most powerful being in the entire galaxy. Now, I said I was going to tell you guys a story. So here we go, as promised, the story of Abeloth. To tell the story, we must go back a million years before the Battle of Yavin to a jungle planet in the middle of the galaxy. On this planet lived a father and his son and daughter. They were the last of an ancient race called the Celestials and had transformed into godlike beings known as the Ones. On this planet, there were two tremendously powerful force nexuses known as the Font of Power and the Pool of Knowledge. The father forbid the two children from ever accessing these two points of power, and for centuries they lived in peace. But one day, driven by curiosity, the son and daughter disobeyed their father. The son drank from the font of power and was consumed by the dark side, while the daughter bathed in the pool of knowledge, giving her the power of the light side. And from that day on, the son and daughter fought against each other. One day, a mortal woman arrived on the planet to become a servant to the Ones. She took care of the family's every need and soon treated the father, son, and daughter as if they were her own family. And soon the family accepted her as well, and she became known as the mother. She was able to keep the peace between the two siblings, and for a while the family repaired all the damage that they had done to the planet. But eventually the mother grew old, and her ability to control the siblings waned and she became afraid of death. She didn't want to lose her family. So she betrayed the father and drank from the font of power and bathed in the pool of knowledge. But being a mere mortal, her mind and body were corrupted and twisted beyond recognition. And with compassion and kindness that was left in the mother died and became the terrifying monster known as Abeloth. Her newfound power was so great that she was able to subdue both her son and her daughter at the same time. But upon seeing what the mother had become, the father became heartbroken and took his children and left the planet, abandoning Abeloth. Alone, Abeloth's twisted mind further degenerated as her worst fear of being separated from her family had finally come to fruition. The ones took control of the hive mind Killick and insect species and used them to build several hyperspace tractor beams and created a shell of black holes around Abeloth's planet. This would later become known as the Maw and would become Abeloth's internal prison. For the next million years, Abeloth remained imprisoned, only escaping when there was a great disturbance in the Force. Driven mad by her loneliness and sorrow, she would create a path of destruction and chaos throughout the galaxy, only to be confined back in the Maw by the family that once loved her. But then 21 years before the Battle of Yavin, Anakin Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Ashoka Tanu were drawn to the planet Mortis by the Ones and started a chain of events that would cause all the Ones to die. Even without her guardians, Abeloth still remained imprisoned in the Maw. By this time, she had learned how to inhabit a dimensional plane known as Beyond Shadows, where time had no meaning and the mind was separated from the physical body. Desperate to seek any companionship and affection, Abeloth reached out for any Force-sensitive being, but her powers were restricted within the confines of the Maw. Eventually, a group of Force Sensitives wandered into the Maw. They were drawn into the Beyond Shadows by Abeloth and would eventually become known as the Mindwalkers. Abeloth fed off the life energy of the Mindwalkers and started consuming other Force users who she came across. One day, Grandmaster Luke Skywalker and his son Ben visited the Maw. They were retracing footsteps of Darth Cadius, otherwise known as Jason Solo, son of Han and Leia. Jason had spent five years at the mall learning about the Force from the Mindwalkers. Luke saw answers for his nephew's fall to the dark side. Upon meeting the Mindwalkers, Luke and Ben entered the realm of Beyond the Shadows and saw Abeloth for the first time in her true, terrifying form. Upon returning to their bodies, the two Jedi were attacked by a dozen warriors from the Lost Tribe of the Sith. They had been attracted to the Maw by Abeloth, but the pair managed to defeat most of the Sith and escape. Soon after, Luke was contacted by the leader of the tribe, who offered an alliance to destroy Abeloth. In an unprecedented move, Luke formed an alliance with the Sith, and together they headed back to the Maw to fight Abeloth. To their dismay, they found that Abeloth had escaped containment and killed all the Mindwalkers. 
Luke confronted her, and in the ensuing battle, the Sith betrayed the Jedi by trying to capture Abeloth in a Force web, but she easily escapes. Abeloth then assumes the image of one of Skywalker's friends in an attempt to confuse Luke. However, the Jedi saw through the ruse and struck her down, killing her. Or so they thought. Abeloth had the ability to create several avatars from the individuals she consumed, and it was through them she carried out her most devious plans. While the Jedi and Sith investigated her body, the real Abeloth escaped from the planet aboard Luke's ship. Abeloth rampaged across the galaxy, running away from the Jedi and Sith. Luke chased her closely behind, destroying all of her avatars, as she jumped from one body to another. Eventually, Luke managed to free his former love interest, Castile and Ming, who had been absorbed by Abeloth, further weakening the monster and forcing her to escape to the Sith Lost Tribe's homeworld of Kesh. There, she met the leader of the Sith, Grand Lord Bear Stoll. She tried to convince the Sith to create an alliance with her against the Jedi. That night, Abeloth attempted to consume the Grand Lord and invaded his mind, but in return left her own mind open to Vol. The Grand Lord sensed the pain and loneliness inside of Abeloth and began mocking her and telling her that she was unloved. Abeloth, distraught, severs the connection from Vol and goes on a rampage, destroying the Sith's capital city of Tav. Furious, Abeloth managed to escape Kesh with several Sith that she managed to control with her influence. Abeloth eventually arrives on Coruscant and takes the form of Jassar Rokari Kem, a popular senator in the Galactic Alliance. She connected with other hidden Sith already in the Senate and used their combined political power to replace the current interim chief of state with herself. Through this, she wanted to become the beloved queen of the stars. All she wanted was for people to love her. Her reign as the chief of state of the Galactic Alliance would be short-lived, as the liberation of Coruscant would come shortly after. Her Sith underlings were unable to defend Coruscant, so Abeloth released a cataclysmic seismic event across Coruscant to delay the Jedi. She then kidnapped Ben Skywalker and Sith apprentice turned Jedi, Vistari Kai, and brought them to her homeworld in the Maw. She wanted to recreate her family again, and force Ben and Vistara to drink from the Font of Power. Abeloth retreated to beyond the shadows with the majority of her power, and was confronted by Luke Skywalker, who had joined forces with another powerful Sith, Darth Krait. Together, the two managed to destroy Abeloth, destroying the last of her bodies. Although Abeloth was gone for the time being, Luke realized they had not truly destroyed her, and that she would one day return again. Luke sent his knights across the galaxy to search for the Mortis Dagger, the dagger that originally killed the Ones. Luke theorized that this dagger would be able to destroy Abeloth for good. So that, my friends, is the story of Abeloth, the monster who was both tremendous and powerful, yet at the same time lonely and sad. And that fits into the theme of Star Wars, that passion, whether it's love or hate, no matter what the intention, can lead to the dark side. So guys, tell me what you think about Abeloth. Do you really think that she is the most powerful being in the galaxy? I sure do. And if you like this episode, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, don't forget to hit the notification button below so you know when we upload a new video. And as usual, guys, if you're watching this, you are Generation Tech.